Boo! Got one of you. I got. I got someone out there. Oh <laughs> damn it, Logan! You know, you know, I spook easily. I was. Just, uh, I, I was almost about to. I, okay, dumb joke. But as I say, boo! James quickly like draws something really fast. Like, oh, you made me ink. <laughs> Actually, I was I, more so. I, James, James pr proven canonical fact. James sketches when he's nervous. Mm -hmm. I was more so thinking like. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's true or not. The reason I wasn't scared, Logan, is because I'm not wearing overalls. Scare away. <laughs> nice. Yeah, speaking of Bill Farmer in a spooky situation. Uh, uh, hey, Matt, this game had you in mind. Well, the character mean? does have red hair. What could it be? What is it? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, ah! Oh, is this what, fuck! Is this what Matt sees all spiders to be? Yes. Just this. Ugh. I can't say I really yeah. blame him. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> Actually, real quick, just out of curiosity, are me and Matt the only arachnophobes in this group? I mean, I hate jumping spiders. Like, if I see a spider, I'll be like, <laughs> but I'll just flick it away. But, like, I'm not, like, terrified. Also, grabbing that card is a trap, but it leads us to the puzzle of this room. Ooh, By the way, those spiders cool. actually aren't too bad. Uh, I'll, I'll say, those spiders aren't too bad. They, they'll try and, like, lasso you in with a with a web, but... Oh. Oh crap! But if uh, but if you're quick enough on your feet, if you're quick enough on your feet and quick on the trigger, you can take them out real quickly. So, the game, the catch of this game is a game of pool against what I can only consider to be oh boy. a demon. Ah. Uh. Like it just sounds like a demonic presence. Also, if you jump, I don't know what it's called, but if you jump on the edges of the of the table to for safety, those guys will spawn. So that's your discouragement also, to not do that. Also, ah. apparently, we're trying to make this guy win. Right, he wants because because think of it like this: he wants to torture us here forever, and it'll and will only be freed once the game ends. Gotcha. And this demon doesn't want the game to end. Oop. Ow. So, so you don't want him to quote unquote scratch the ball, as in you don't want the cue ball itself to go into the holes. We're trying to use physics to force these things into the holes, and yet still, Whoa. better pool physics than better pool physics than Sonic 06. Uh. Like that's saying much. Better pool physics than we Get play. How about that? Oh, I don't know if I said this or not, but um, an interesting fact we can say about this game is that this game turns fi turns uh, fifteen years old today. Son what? of a bitch! At the time of this recording, anyway. Yes, or not today. Sorry, not today. Sorry, not sorry, not today. My bad. This year, my bad. like later this in October, oh, okay, okay. it turns fifteen. Soon enough. And, Soon enough. And in particular, by the time that these videos go up, this game shares an interesting birthday. And depending on which video goes up first, I'll say it in both both parts. Uh, there we go. There's one. And the demon rages in agony. Um, <laughs> this game actually shares a birthday with another game that we're doing. Can you guess what it is? The hype. Is it the highly anticipated commentary of Jack and the Beanstalk. Mm, no, but that's already a really fun title I want to use at some point in my life. Does Jack it, Frost! No. Jack Frost! Wait, wait, does it rhyme with Meadow of the Molasses? No, but how about this? How, how about this? This game shares a birthday with a game that rhymes with Knack 2. <laughs> By a oh, few years. Not, I need to get back to playing that game sooner or later. I pretty much put it down after everything else came out. Is Knack 2 actually good? It's better, uh, than, it, it's better than the, it's better than the first one. I'll give you that much. I, okay. I kind of hear that. Knack. I was about to say it's just, it's interesting you hear that because unless okay. I'm reading too deeply into the sarcasm, I get the implication that Knack Two is apparently one of the worst games of all time. Really? No, it's just it's just one of the most under, it's just one of the most unexpected. Why do we don't do we need this right now? Well, well it's not the well. In all fairness, it's not like seeing a sequel to oh, to nice. probably one of the most mad games of. That's, that kickstarted the PS4's launch. I mean, and actually do some good with it. I mean, that's admirable. Oh, oh. boy. That, that is close. technically but, a but yeah. Yes. But yeah, um, yeah, this game actually came out on the exact same date as Jack 2, which is why probably many people didn't play this game. Not yeah, because Jack 2 is ultimately the better game. That and because but this I, is but I will say, this game definitely has... But I will say, this game does, again, have its charms. Just, again, mm -hmm. there's some puzzles like this one that can take a bit if you're not careful. Yeah. This it? is the pool that never ends. It just goes on. Wait, 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 this could be it. Oh. Never mm. mind. <laughs> so, spoke too soon, Steve. 
That's all it took was someone to acknowledge its its inevitable conclusion. Now, now pull, now Slides pull on. on, yeah, pull on this uh, floating switch. Pull the lever, Kronk. Actually, now that I think about it, it's like Kronk. yes, all it took was the power. It's like yes, all it took was the power of sinking to get to hurry on along. James knows that pretty well, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. It's the well, if you well, if you consider what this game is licensed licensed by, it is the Disney way. True. Uh -huh. Very true. In fact, the game so, I was referring oh, to the last, was also the, the last thing I need to the last thing I need to remember though is Peyton Peyton at two two. <laughs> Here's we grip grip. Okay, how you doing? Oh yeah, I grip grip. Spider. What happened to you? Yeah, yeah. I died. You turned into a spider. <laughs> oh God. Incarnation is a real thing. You know, we joke a lot about these spiders, but never will I find any as creepy oh, as the ones in um. Uh, Lord of Shadow. Still never played that one. It's a good game if you don't mind the fact that it's essentially a God of War clone. Well, yeah, because gotcha. it's like it, it abandoned the Metroidvania went full hack and slash. Pretty much. Kind of like. All right, there we go. Kind of not unlike what Revenge does, right? Oh, guys. Oh, so he's got you delivering his threats now, eh? Yeah. What's this? A death certificate. Yeah, it's the Duelist. It says huh. here that that no says here that some drunkard right in the ride tried to take a shot at me. <laughs> <laughs> this is his ghost. Wow. I feel yeah, that that so honored. With a I you mentioned that last episode, didn't you? Yeah, yeah you it's did. some fun trivia. Yeah. I swear this mansion brings out the weirdest in people. In fact, I hear there's some people that bury their loved ones' ashes around this place. Yeah, and there's actually a whole, like, report online that people were saying, like, please don't do that. We do vacuum the ride periodically. So if you put any ashes in the ride, we're just going to vacuum them up. Like, it's just, it's like, it's common courtesy, like, it's the theme park guy. Anyway, we just got our first soul gem, which means our first... <laughs> nice move. What was that? Oh, he's getting sneaky now, ain't he? Oh, he's here, all right. I can smell his beady little eyes. Wait, smell his eyes? I can barely hear what this guy's saying. Yeah. Sorry, I, may, I, I reduced the volume, but whenever I'm recording with PS2, it records the audio really loudly. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. So anyway, so to, so to talk over what she's saying, because now that there's subtitles, people can read it for themselves. This, whenever we get a weapon upgrade, it basically means if you hold down, it's basically charge shots. Ooh. You can get a charge shot, like Mega Man, like what? So here's a normal fire. A little pew pew. Then if you charge it, Ooh. laser. Not bad. Much faster and powers a bit, deals a bit more of a punch. And yes, just like in X, you can get hyper shots. Nice. Ooh, nice. Uh, although I think they call them ultra shots, but whatever. So now with 170 souls, it's time to find the next place, which I believe now gives us access to our first major hub, the downstairs hallway. The library. Because again, because again, Lu again, Luigi's Mansion parallels. Mm -hmm. It was in the spring of 1855 when I first came Also lore. I wonder if this is lore. I wonder if this lore that she's spewing is actually the same lore for the ride. Oh god, no, no. This is... Because it's all about the owner of, shad owner of shadows. But, I mean, for what it is, like, they put, they put some decent thought into this. Like, I think they put at least, like, 20, 30 minutes into this idea. Uh, uh, okay, it was, it was probably more like an hour to two hours. I don't know. Just enough. So the idea is that so in the movie they treated in the movie and in the rides lore they treated this place like oh there's a spooky lady at the end of the hallway saying my name oh boy well clearly this means I must follow her after I took a small break from recording and I also improved the resolution smidgen oh for what do you know I was wondering I was wondering what was with with all the lacing problems yeah that was my first time when I that was my first time when I was using a, an encoder and it auto cropped it completely wrong so now we'll be perfectly fine oh thank god now it's not a complete eyesore anyway what were I you apologize. saying uh it, that the uh, it, they treated the house like a retirement home for the spirits of the dead mm. uh, like you just come and chill out here like, like that's what the movie did right all around the world the movie the ride itself treated it like that where they say oh there are 999 happy haunts who live here mm -hmm. here's the kitchen oh uh hey so what's for dinner Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't realize we were playing a game adaptation of The Ring. Oh boy! Yeah, time to oh die! Oh god! Yeah, time to kill this thing! Disney, everybody! 
this our boss? Now, uh, it's one. This game likes to do the thing where it's like, here, this is like a little mid boss. Then, oh, these will be regular enemies later. Ah, oh joy. boy. Ah, those guys. Those guys is their their biggest problem is they're very quiet and they can just sneak up on you. And they release a shriek that deals a, a kind of a cone of damage in front of them. But again, they're pretty easily dealt with with a few power shots. And here comes the puzzle of this room. I'm Making the cake. <laughs> no, I'm not doing. Now remember, remember hold remember. it for only thirty seconds. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. Gosh, dang it! Anyway, uh, trust you, trust me, folks. We will get to that game sooner or later. After we're done with Mario and Luigi. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh God, dirty did dishes! Push, did that fish uh. just laugh at us? <laughs> I guess. Also, Zeke is ever the melodramatic type to just type. So the idea is there is actually no light switch in this kitchen. Oh shit. So, but however, there was a giant bonfire in the corner of this place, which I guess is supposed to be used for, like, cooking, like, a giant, like, old-fashioned fire stove. Mm -hmm. So, we already have this lit candle that is going to just, I guess, permanently burn on the oil. And as you see in the shelves and things, there are these, uh, more of these oil bottles. Ooh, nice, we got one anyway. So, the idea is that we need to lure the plate by standing in proper places to smash the oil bottles and create this fire trail that'll wind through the kitchen to the bonfire pit. Gotcha. Well, that ought to be fun. That is yeah, actually a clever little thing. Yeah. And, um, and you don't have to do them in any particular order. Like, the trail will just... Yeah, just the idea is you want to go for every single... Uh... Ah, crap. Whoops. Oh. The idea is that you just want to go for all of them. Logan no, Reef, Spider Logan Reef, ah. it's so hard to aim at that, in, that insignificant bug on the wall. Mm -hmm. No, maybe. I know. I know you hate bugs, but there's better ways to kill it than that, and 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 more economical. Yeah. So it's like, so, and I don't know why you can't just tip the freaking bottles over and smash them on the floor. Yeah. But yeah so the puzzle of this is to like kind of see how the plate is gonna like follow its trajectory over to you and just stand in clever places to make it like fly high or go long, you know that kind of stuff. Anyway, while we're talking about high. this. I'm trying to think if there's any, like, big things that were happening. Um, uh, in terms of, like, I guess, common, like, random blogging stuff, I guess, over at Universal Studios, as of, the, as of recording this at the end of February, they uh, have just now started erecting the first building over here in uh, California. Ow. <laughs> over here in California uh, of the, ne of the next, uh, like, the first big building is going up in the Super Mario Land. Yep, Super Ooh. Nintendo Land's getting its first building, and, well, we'll... I'm looking forward to what they have in store for that. But um, actually, if I can go back real quick to something actually vaguely related to this, um, the developers of this game, uh, High Voltage. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was I think it was either before or after oh. this. They also developed uh, that one that one PS2 Stitch game. Oh, uh, the Stitch on the Loose or whatever. Uh, Experiment Six Two Six. Oh, That's I love that game actually. I remember playing a lot of that. It's not too bad. That was actually that that game was I believe my that game was my introduction to. Mouse. Okay, I need to go a little further. I'm trying to make it arc up and hit the bottle up there, and I think yeah. that will almost be it. How about here? Got it. There you go. Okay, well, that completed the trail. Wow. Yeah. Trail, trail's almost complete. But, um... Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. I need to have it One. bounce off of those... I need to have it bounce off these sandbags and hit this bottle uh, from behind the gotta bottle. Do, gotta, do some dead, gotta do some dead shot yeah. BS. But what was I saying? Um, but yeah, I, I think that that game was my introduction to Hamster Veal. Oh, I thought you were wait, about wait, to say Leo Stitch. What was, wait, Hamster Veal I don't think was even in um, Stitch. I could have sworn there was something... I, could, I, could have sworn I know he debuted it. Small... It, it might have been like a... It might have been like a predecessor to Hamster Veal. Because I remember uh, back when Disney Adventure used to be a thing, they actually had like this comic... Um, promoting um, the first Leo and Stitch movie, it was like showing Jumbo when he was still a mad scientist, and it actually had six two five with him. Ha! Oh god! Interesting. Ham or tuna? Well, it's some, it's some light source, so I'll buy it. So there you go. Now we just do the usual hunting for things. But yeah, I, I bit, <laughs> Stitch was I'm such so, a. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at his face on the top left. Never right. mind. Oh, that's now right. it's okay. You missed it. Oh yeah, no the the the, yeah. the react the health bar reactions are funny. Yeah, it's like it's, I'm it's not gonna lie, I kind of appreciate when games actually do that, where they actually like make the health bar remote depending on how much health you have. Like I can think of like a few games that have done that, like the Animaniacs game for the Genesis. We talked about that. Um, 
I know yay. some of the Scooby Doo games for the yay, yay. GameCube did that. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah. But um, uh, I oh. ba yeah, ba uh, Banjo Kazooie did that. The first one did anyway. Oh yeah, they oh, did yeah. too. Did they bring back? Did they bring I... that over into Tooie or just keep it untouched? It was just in Kazooie. Okay. I know. Um, I, I know. Technically, in that Shantae Hatching Hero, the characters kind of like. I, I I also think it's cute. Like with Mario and Shantae, where like the characters just start actually like emoting, like just being so freaking tired and done with it <laughs> yeah. when they're like low on health. Well, no death certificate. And gotcha. Yoink. All right, up to one ninety. Too bad. Oh yeah. And by the way, if you notice, our count goes up by a lot every time we get a soul gem. So yeah, before gotcha. we were at like forty, now we're up to hundred. Yep. And yes, we will be going for all nine 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 hundred ninety nine spirits because that's what you need. Double day. All those, all those happy. Oh hello. Ones. Hello there. Hi there. There's another bell. I hear a lot. I, you sound you sound like a really hyperactive well, Sam. Yeah, it's slightly higher pitch too. So yeah, this is the guy who actually created the courage tonics that we're using as health pickups. Oh, mm. fun little huh. lore thing. What a nice guy. Too bad he's dead. Yeah. yeah. Actually, oh, going man. back to something I just remembered Surely about. nothing bad will yeah. happen. Something I just. Rem <clears throat> oh boy. Something I just remembered about Bill Farmer. Like you guys might know this, but I want to share it for people that don't know. And a bit of voice actor trivia for Bill Farmer that I find kind of ironic given his most popular role. He was also he also voiced some of the Looney Tunes in Space Jam. Really? really? Mm -hmm. He voiced Foghorn, um, Sylvester, I want to say Yosemite Sam, and I think there was a fourth one. I just don't remember who it is. So this is the maid's room, I believe. And, and the rest. <laughs> and the puzzle of this room is. Ooh. That. Oh god. The walls shift and they creak. And they lead into a really annoying maze because it's like a maze where you can't actually see the whole maze while you're running around in it. Oh yeah, and actually going back to Bill Farmer real quick, let us never forget that oh so lovable and memorable uh, role he had. Wait, hey, Ra Ra Rasputin. <laughs> I did look like that. Anyway, sorry, what was the Bill Farmer role, James? We can never forget that memorable and awe inspiring role. As a whole bunch of old guys in Dead Rising. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. son of a man. <laughs> Would have been funny if he did voice one of the psychos. Yeah, I don't know why you just saying that the goofy uh, voice I, I, reminds I me of I this. I would have laughed if he. Go ahead. I was about to say, just you saying that in the goofy voice reminds me of this really old, like, Porky Pig short where he was hammering, he accidentally hit his thumb. It's like, uh, son of a bitch, 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 gun. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you thought I was going to say, B -b 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 son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> and it was just like, what? And I remember, like, as a kid, like, wait, what? Is that real? Was, did Mill Blink say that? I'm, I don't and think, I'm not sure if Mill Blink. I was about to say, I'm not sure if actually, that was oh, Mill Blink at yeah. the time, because that was, like, really early when he took oh, yeah, stuff. That's... Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Mel Blank didn't. Like, he was sometime after the Looney Tunes inception. Oh. Okay, also, so uh, the other two things I was going to say is one is I would have laughed if Bill Farmer played Slappy in Dead Rising 2. Oh, God. <laughs> that would have that... been the best. Uh, that's the guy. Okay, that's and the and mascot and with the giant head, right? Yes. And the flamethrowers, yes. And uh, this, and the puzzle of this place is basically just wander around until you find a door with a little, you know, with a card in front of it. Oh, oh boy! Oh god! F f find a door, find double doors with a card in front of them, and that's your ticket out. And just keep doing it until you find the way out. Now, Frank, I'm afraid I can't let you live. I'm afraid you now, Sora. I'm afraid you've seen too much. <laughs> now, Zeke, I'm afraid the spirits of this house oh, are gonna have to condemn you. I, now I'm sure I'm sorry, but we need to construct something called a reach. Now that's a sacrificial dagger there. <laughs> <laughs> sacrificial Long dagger. Live there. Santa Cabeza. Yes. And you might you that's might want to be careful with them crucifix. Those cost an arm and a leg there. <laughs> oh God! I just oh God! I just had this. I oh God! I'm so sorry. But with all of these impressions and also with Kingdom Hearts and the implications of Mickey, I just admit. <laughs> Go for friend. Help me. Long live the king. <laughs> oh man. I wonder if Bill Farmer's ever once in his life been asked to quote anything from Lion King. Do you think? Do you think? Actually, do you think Bill? Do you think? Do you think some of these voice actors, like in their spare time, like kind of like if they're just you know dicking around, just having nothing to do? Do you think these voice just, actors just like 
to start saying like really like dumb crap in their characters' it's voices funny, to just entertain themselves. It's funny you mention that because I saw I never saw the video, but I saw like the thumbnail. Apparently, on Rob Paulson's um, podcast, he had Bill Farmer as a guest, and he had in his goofy voice him quoting The Godfather. Oh, oh God! Man. Yes, I I want to watch. I'll I, I make him a deal scene. he can't refuse. Honest, honestly, if honestly, it's it's bad. It's great enough when you get the freaking cast of SpongeBob to do to quote Godfather, but to have yeah. Goofy do it, that's my life's going. Why, be why have people not animated this? I'm sure someone has. You just know. have to look really hard. And by the way, when I was talking about Rob Paulson's uh, podcast, how long is this fucking maze? We're almost out. Yeah. All, all, the only thing I was going to say is that when I was talking about the podcast that Rob Paulson had where Bill did it, it's the exact same one where he had Charlie Adler perform that skit. Oh, that Here we go. Found skit. It. Oh, God. Found it. Jeez. I didn't know they had the... Po okay, there. That's it. You did it. And we also have a little lore book where we can get read a nice little bedtime story by... What's his face? Must um, I forgot his fucking name. The character name or the actor name? Uh, Cap Captain Hook. Oh, okay. And Jin. Oh, Cory Burton. Cory Burton. I knew he'd be able to see but I kept thinking Colby, like Kobe Bryant. It's like, no. <laughs> so yeah, Cory Burton. Uh, so the idea is that they're looking for the Beacon of Souls, which is the lantern that I'm using to shoot things, because this Beacon of Souls can not only fight back evil spirits, but also contain spirits so that they can be, like, protected and brought elsewhere. Right. It's, it's like... It's like the equivalent of a ray gun and the ecto cooler at the same time, or ecto, nice. whatever the heck the thing was called in Ghostbusters. Oh, the ecto, the ecto blaster. Or no, the, the 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 containment unit thing. I forgot the heck what it was called. Oh, from Ghostbusters. Um, yeah. Anyone here watch Ghostbusters? I forgot what that thing was called. It was a little the proton block pack that they like would too. suck them into. No, no, the no, proton pack is what they pack use is to but... stun them and bring them into the containment. Box. I right. just don't know, remember the name of it. Okay, I'm just gonna look this up. And uh, by the way, there's a sad story in this uh, thing. Cause some sometimes these ghosts only remember their past lives. The a bit, Ghost so. Bride. Well, where can he be? It's almost time. Aww. Oh, Charles de Goulash, why have you abandoned me? <laughs> Minute, darling. <laughs> to heck with the scale. Okay, it was called the it was called the ECS, the Ecto Containment System, or just okay. So it was just containment unit. Okay. By the way, uh. what? Anyway, what is that woman's backstory? Uh, she was waiting for her husband, and then I guess they just died. Some some of them, some of their death, some of their deaths do kind of be brought up. Like like one guy is like from ancient, not ancient. One of them is from like the time of the Black Plague. He was like a Shakespearean actor. Ooh. There, there, there's of course uh, we will of course be running into Julius Caesar. What? Oh, wow. Uh, there's a mummy. Like like again, this place is treated like a retirement home. Like this is where you wanted to go after you died, because the rest of I guess the rest of life was just boring. Uh, until next time, everybody. Okay, yeah. fancy well. Bye bye.